As we first brought you as breaking news on 12 News this morning, Pfizer says it has begun studying the effects of a third dose of its COVID-19 vaccine to protect, to protect against some new variants. And as 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie reports, Pfizer is also evaluating updating its original vaccine. To start, Pfizer says it's calling back participants from its phase one study in the U.S. They're offering them the chance to get a booster shot six to 12 months after their initial two dose regimen. Pfizer says it wants to determine the effectiveness of a third dose against evolving variants of the virus, so far detected in the United Kingdom, Brazil, and South Africa, but also in California and now New York. Rhode Island has so far reported three cases of the UK variant, while Massachusetts have both the UK and South African mutations. Health officials say they're highly contagious and could result in a new wave of cases. Additionally, Pfizer says it's in ongoing discussions with federal and international regulators to set up a clinical study to modify its original mRNA vaccine for the same reason. Moderna is also developing a booster shot, specifically addressing the variant first found in South Africa. Dr. Ashish Jha, Dean of Brown University School of Public Health, says both Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines still appear to work well against the variants and says he's optimistic these booster shots may not be needed. If we need it, uh, it'll probably be sometime in the fall, I suspect, uh, at which point we should have enough to, for people to get it. Uh, so we'll have to see. Right now on WPRI.com, our 12 on 12 digital original vaccine 101 features Dr. Jha and Dr. Megan Ranney. They both address the new virus variants and how the Johnson & Johnson vaccine also protects against them. The J&J &J vaccine is being considered by an FDA advisory committee tomorrow. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.